Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to this card making project. Today we're going to make a gorgeous card using lots of Anna Griffin goodies, including the flower pot decoupage. And we're going to make a card that's a little bit unique and a little bit different. So without further ado, everything I do use I'll put down below in the description box. And as always, if you've got any questions or comments, just get in touch. So the card that I'm using is a 7x5 inch card and this is how it looks on our cardometer. So it sits nicely, it's a good size, it's my favourite size for using as a card base. The thing that I've done differently is on the front of the card I've just trimmed one side by 2 inches. So it looks a little bit uneven at the moment, a little bit odd but it's two inches that I've just trimmed using a paper trimmer um, just so that the front section is smaller than the back section. So as always I'm going to use my bone folder to make sure we've got a good sharp score along the edge and then we're going to do the inside first of the card. Now for the inside what I've done I've already cut a black layer of card because I want the dramatic look between the layers and I'm using the black as the base. So I'm simply peeling off the back of the tape. Now I've had a lot of questions this week about the tape that I use. Um, I normally get my tape from a company called Stix2 and I'll put the link below. However, the wider tape that I've been using, um, I got from the large auction house online and it is roughly an 18mm wide tape. The second layer I've got for the actual base of the card is a pink layer and I'm just going to pop that through the centre. Now it's a lot smaller but there's a reason for that. So we'll just pop that on. And then the next layer I've got looks a bit odd. It's as if it's the waste of something and it actually is. Now for the front, I'm just skipping ahead slightly, I've used the All Heart layer die from one of Anna's collections and I've die cut it. Now the front one is actually from um, the pink metallic card range um, the, the metallic card range should I say in, in pink. However for the inside I've die cut it from one of the um, spring, sorry the summer fall layers collection and I've die cut it out of it and I am using the outside waste of it because I want to get the same pattern on the inside as I have on the outside. You'll see what I mean when we get to the finished um, card because that will sort of all turn in nicely and show you what I mean. So sometimes when you die cutting, don't be afraid to keep the waste because you can use it to utilise the cards that you're making especially for the inside. So now you can see why the pink layer was a lot smaller than the black because we want to be able to write on the inside of our card and that's the plain section that you'll be able to write your message on. So from the flower pot decoupage collection what I've done is because we're going to be using the pink pansies I've taken one of the pink pansies and one of the sentiments and I've just got a little bit of tape on the back of the pansies and on the sentiment and I'm simply going to position the sentiment through the actual pansies like that and then I'm going to position this on my card. Now I could put it in the middle I could put it at the bottom, I could put it at the top. I'm going to go for just below centre, like that. 
and so you've still got room in the centre of the card to write your message to and from and now we can go to the outside of the card so I'm just as always going to use my bone folder again to make sure we've got that sharp crease and then for the front I've already skipped ahead a little bit and I've matted and layered the black card and the layer from the summer fall collection together just to save us a little bit of time so I'm going to pop that on the front so I'm going to try and line it up a little bit so it matches the outside there we go and so it's starting to come together now so next what I've done is you've already seen that I've cut out the all heart layer and I've cut out a matching uh, plain layer for it as well now if you've got um, a Cricut or um, a scan and cut something like that you'll probably have these in one of your um, cartridges but I haven't so I've been using the die and what I did was after I'd cut the die I used the inner section to draw around and then be able to cut the base shape out so I'm just going to add a tiny bit of glue on the back of the actual die cut and then I can stick it to the plain layer and then we can add that to our card so let's just I've not added a lot of glue because I want it to stick quite quickly and there we go get rid of that little bit of glue and I'm just going to press it down a little bit so that it starts to take hold so now this I'm going to attach to our card and as you can see I've got tape just on one side because where we're going to attach it to the card it's going to go over that section that we've cut and so it just for want of a better word it sticks out slightly so we're going to place it central so that you can't see the tape underneath that's why it was only on half of it and then it's got the flap from the actual layer that we've cut so that's starting to look really pretty so next what I've done is I've taken the flower pot decoupage and I've already added foam tape on the back of it just for quickness and I'm going to start off with the flower pot so the flower pot from the actual collection and I've tinted it a little bit with pink ink just around the edges and I'm just going to put that to one side for now but I'm going to place it roughly where I want it to be on the actual card so that I know as I'm going to put my pansies on the base layer where I'm going to be positioning them so if my flower pot is there because I want the stalks underneath it so that will roughly be my first layer now I know the decoupage you can build up um, using it as decoupage but I'm using it all separately so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add one of the leaves just over part of the uh, pansies and then I'm going to add a leaf at the other side as well so it's covering some of the pansies but next we've got another piece of the actual pansy decoupage that we're going to put over like that so you're building it up I've slightly curled it with the bone folder just to give it a little bit of shape and the next piece we can layer here then I'm going to add my flower pot and I'm going to pop it roughly 
here. So it's just over the actual base of the layer. Next, I've got two separate pansies from the decoupage sheet. And because I want it to look as if they're spilling over the actual flower pot, I'm going to position one over the top at one side and then at the other side, just over the side of the pot like that. And then the last thing we've got is a sentiment, again, from the actual flower pot decoupage. And I'm just going to simply pop that between the pansies at one side so that it's just poking out of the arrangement. And that is our card finished. So we've got the inside that's pretty with the sentiment and then we've got the outside with our build up of flowers. It'll stand up nicely. Now you do have some of the layers for postage, however because it's only one glue dot deep and there's only maybe two that overlap, then it's not going to be too bad for postage. So you'll be able to position them so there's maybe only one glue dot um, deep and maybe take a little bit more time over it. But that's our very pretty flower decoupage card done and I'm really pleased with that. I think it looks so pretty and it's just that little bit different with the flap of the front of the card that we've taken away. So I really hope you've enjoyed this and it's given you a few ideas. Feel free to comment because I do love hearing from you. If you've got anything to say, just get in touch. You can always find me on Facebook. The details are at the end of the video for um, my name and everything for Facebook. So it just remains for me to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.